you need a good solicitor, you need a good banker, and you need a good accountant as well. But before you come over here, let us help you to do your own due diligence to make sure you don't suffer. Because it's a shame to sell all your property over there, to move in Cyprus, and then facing all these uh, difficulties. So give us the opportunity. You, because there are tiny little things like importing a car. It can be a nightmare. And it is a nightmare. Which is as simple as the procedure. I've got an example. I rented this house, beautiful, magnificent large house. No one told me that these flat roof concrete houses, that I must be aware of them, that in summer they are ovens. I got tied up in a lease and I lived in an oven for two years, two summers, we were cooking. Whereas if I had someone that's local that would have advised me, watch yeah. out for these things, I would not have suffered for two years. Simple, simple little simple things. things. Simple things for me. People must be educated before they come over here. Mm. As you have rightly said, renters. Which is a tiny little thing again, but it is important. It, it does an impact. There is an impact. a big a big impact. Um, title bits. We have discussed that. We will be having more series on title bits, trying to give people what's going on, the new elements. Be aware of certain things. Technically, you do not owe the property, though you have to pay all the taxes about it. But if you are in a communal area, you are not allowed to be responsible for the property and the developer is. And sometimes the developer takes advantage of things like that. So all these things, you have to be prepared. Finally, you get an agent, you will get a developer that will say, we will do your contract to save you money. Of okay. course, the developer will prepare a contract for their own benefit. Correct. Do not be fooled. Do not pay extra charges on when you are selling the property because you will have the bad luck to do a contract with the developer. They shouldn't be charging you. The, the, the only amount they can charge you is to cover their own expenses. But we can see the developers profiting at this stage because they haven't got any other means. Telling people, oh, don't go to your solicitor, don't use your bank, don't do this. Just through us. There was a big company in all over Cyprus, big companies, they have done that for many years. We will provide you legal advice. We have a responsibility and we take on that responsibility. Who is going to help those clients? Probably the clients can go against the developer or the person who has done the contract through the developer to, lead, to seek legal compensation of, mm. of the things that they're on the contract. And again, you're stuck into this time. Yeah. This time. waiting time, waiting, waiting. And waiting. Uh, you know the famous phrase, Siga Siga in Cyprus? Yeah. This is not our motto. We are trying to speed up the proceedings. Sometimes it's not easy. Even for us, trying to assist the client, to help the client. In all the ways, we have to do the right thing. And especially when we get people with very bad contracts on rentals or, uh, or especially on uh, purchasing a property, we have to do the right procedure before we appear on a court. So it needs time to overcome the bad option of the client that uh, listen to the developer to do their, uh, their own contracts. Mm. Giovanni, look, no matter which country you move to, they've got different ways of doing things. That's for sure. If you move from a large country to a large country, it's okay because it's big systems, they're normally well oiled and well greased, but coming from a well organized large country to a small island is a major difference. I lived in England for 12 years. Um, I bought the house, I sold the house, I worked over there, I had a very good life, very happy with my life over there. It was my decision to come over. At the beginning, because I was expecting this, I felt comfortable. Through the years, facing more difficulties for me, for my clients, for the people we represent, we are getting frustrated and upset. Can you imagine somebody who doesn't know about all this, at the shock of the system, coming over to Cyprus? People must be educated, they must give an opportunity to their representative, which is probably a legal representative, to help them before they come. They have to be eased into the community. Exactly. And the advantage you have uh, dealing with Giovanni's law firm is that because he's lived in the UK for 12 years, came back into the system, is frustrated with many issues in the system, he can ease you into Cyprus much easier than you trying it on your own. Trust me, it will take you a long time. It took me about three years, as I said earlier. 
we will do our best to smoothen the procedure and make it as easy as possible for our clients because we work and we always have worked and we will always work for our own clients. Mm -hmm. But is yet to assist you to bridge the gap between the UK and Cyprus. Giovanni, thank you very much. Thank you. Such a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.